Okay, class, today we're going to illustrate a sailboat. And you're going to be using a white sheet of paper. Sharpen your pencil. Uh, there should be some colored pencils also that you can feel free to use once you're ready to start shading in. But let's go ahead and start drawing this sailboat. Um, we're going to start with the sail first. But before we do that, let me show you some, an artist, an impressionist artist by the name of Claude Monet who also loved to paint sailboats. Here's a picture of Claude Monet's um, impression of sailboats and you can see these are all sailboats that are docked. They're not out into the deep waters and um, you can see just the beautiful display of colors, um, the thick paint that was applied onto the canvas. Um, impressionist artists love to um, focus on light and um, you can see the beautiful shine and reflections of the boats um, throughout this picture. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our own version of a sailboat. And even though I'm going to help you step by step on drawing this sailboat, I certainly would like for you to make it your own picture. And there'll be many ways and opportunities to do that in this picture. So let me go ahead and put this sailboat over to the side. And we will start first with the sail. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and make a line coming down like this. And this will be the sail, the long part of the sail. And think of a triangle that's real thin up top. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. I'm not using a ruler, so I'm not worried about the lines being too perfect. And of course, a sail is cloth, so we're not going to see a perfectly straight geometric shape. Okay, so now I've got one part of the sail already accomplished. Now I'm going to do the other part of the sail. This part of the sail is a little bit thinner at top, at the top. and is going to come down past the main sail. Up here it's very thin and then I'm going to bring that line down and then I'm going to go ahead and bring this across like this. Okay, now I've got a little bit of erasing to do just to kind of clean up my lines and see what I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead and erase here and I'm going to erase right this part of the sail over here. Okay, so the next part, I'm going to go ahead and bring this line down. And that was part of the design in the sail. Later we can shade it in. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and draw the body of the boat. The body of the boat is right about here and then we'll start to connect the sail and the mask and the post and everything and I'm going to go ahead and draw the sail of the boat. I'm not too worried about making it look perfect here. I just want a nice image of a boat, a sailboat. And I see where I can really make a curve so I'm going to go ahead and erase and I'm sorry guys if I'm confusing you a little bit, but I think there could be a little bit more of a curve right here. And then I'm going to travel down. And I'm going to bring this line right down here. And this is the top of the boat. Now I'm going to follow this mask going down, double the line, and then bring this down right here. I'll also bring a little line going this way to show where the where it's all connected. All right. Now I know that the bottom of the boat is going to have some water, so I'm going to make a little ripple right here just to show that this is where the bottom of the boat is. We're not going to see the extreme bottom because the other part of the bottom is underwater.
and I'm giving you a minute to catch up and while I do that I'm going to go ahead and do some little lines here just to kind of show where parts of the boat are connected. I'm going to draw the top of the boat right here. This is where the windows are. This is probably where their cabin is, where they sleep at night if they're going on a long voyage. Obviously this boat has been designed for a long trip. Looks like a nice sturdy boat, one that can handle going into the deep of the ocean. And I'm going to go ahead and shade in those windows just a little bit. You can do that with a pencil or with a colored pencil. That's completely up to you. And again, we have not used a ruler yet, and I don't think it's necessary to use a ruler. Claude Monet didn't use a ruler in his Impressionist piece. Um, I think that we can create a nice image without being too concerned about using a ruler. And it's got like a little guardrail around the side of it. So I'm just working on that right now. I made a line. <clears throat> okay. There are other parts to the boat that I'm not going to add. I, to be honest with you, I can't see them very well, and I don't know if we really need them. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the horizon line in the background. And this boat is definitely a boat that looks like it's off in the deep sea, but you certainly do not have to create a boat that's out in the deep sea. You can draw a boat where you actually see land off in the distance, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw some land. At this stage of the game, I'm just going to make some lines here just to show that the water is a little bit rough. As I get further away, I'm, I am going to bring those lines closer together. By doing that, I show perspective. I show things that are getting smaller as they go further to the, closer to the horizon line. And you create that perspective illusion. So I'm going to bring those lines real close together. Now it's really starting to look like water. You know, when lines run horizontally to each other and they're running next to each other, you start to create a very rhythmic look. Lines do create rhythm. All right, I'm just going to give you a chance to catch up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take a colored pencil. And I'm going to color in just the base of the boat right here. This is something that you can do later. You don't have to do it right now. And you know what? I, why I'm using blue, I don't know. I really want to use a different color other than blue. I'm going to go ahead and use um, there we go. Kind of a burgundy color. There we go. Those are for the Mill Creek cl colors. Anybody going off to high school next year for the eighth graders? you can illustrate a Mill Creek boat. You make your boat any color you want. You don't have to use these colors. You can use the colors um, that you prefer. Keep in mind, though, that the water, we are going to put some blue into the water, some different shades of blue. I would like for my sail to be very colorful, even in this picture that it's white. I do not want to make it white. I'm going to create kind of a yellowish color. When I see the sailboats going off into the water around the Destin area and the Panama City Beach area, I see all those beautiful colors floating around, and that's what I notice. So I'm going to put some color into my sail.
sales are transparent so you can see through them a little bit and so got to keep that in mind <coughs> as I put some other that I want the light to actually look like it's coming through the sale the next thing I'm going to do with my sailboat is I'm going to put some of those little lines that they use to kind of hold the sail together and make it sturdy so I'm going to curve those lines And they seem to be continuous all the way to the top of the main mask. I'm going to shade down here a little bit just to show the connection of the post to the sail. Please forgive my terminology. I'm not a, I do not sail. I wish I did. Maybe when I retire, I'll sail. My brother, on the other hand, is a deep sea diver and he dives out on sunken ships. I used to go out with him sometimes. It was the most amazing thing in Block Island in Rhode Island. My brother would go down deep into the ocean and he would come up with cannonballs from the Revolutionary War. It makes you realize that what's in the bottom of the ocean is a treasure all in its own that we haven't, we haven't even begun to really discover. I mean, People find things every day, but there is so much that still down. There's so much history. If you've ever been up north into New England area and you've gone to Mystic Seaport and seen the pirate ships and where the pirates slept, it's just amazing. Give your, give your sailboat a name. I'm going to go ahead and call mine the Sunfish. So I'm going to write real small, sunfish. You design it any way you want. At this stage of the game, I'm really coloring in, and I do not expect you to stay up with me. This is something we can work on when you finish your portfolio project next week or when you come back from spring break. I just want you to enjoy the experience of drawing a sailboat without using a ruler. And I'm really trying to work on here, adding some light into my picture. I want it to look like the, the sail is transparent, light is coming through. Impressionist artists are always trying to set a mood with the lighting. I think I'm trying to do the same thing that they're doing right now. How we learn from great artists every day. That's what it's all about. Great musicians learn from the artist in the past. I'm always so impressed. Oops. When my eighth graders know so much about 70s music and 80s music and actually like some of it. Makes me smile. That was my error. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to make some lines right here that are going to kind of curve. Why do I curve the line? So that the sail looks curved. I don't want the sail to look hard and rigid. It's a, it's a sail that's very flexible. It catches the wind. It pushes the boat forward. And if we don't make things look curved and movable, it's not going to be a believable picture. So curving the lines more than having straight lines is so very important. I'm going to go ahead and just shade in the top of this part of the boat and I'm just using a bluish color let me add a little bit of light in there let me add a little bit of light you should have a white oil pass, um, colored pencil in your containers if you don't we'll find you one some little lines sometimes help make it um, look like there's a shine or light coming through. Really not much to the sailboat actually. I kept that pretty simple. Put my windows in there. I'm 
I'm just cleaning up some lines right now and allowing some of you to try to catch up with me. Okay, we're 15 minutes into this sketch and you may not be right with me and that's okay. This video will be on the website at Jones Middle School. Feel free to illustrate this sailboat at home. The more practice you get with your illustrations, the better artist you will, be, will, you will come, become. I can't talk while I'm drawing. Please forgive me. All right. I think I'm ready to go ahead and color the sky. Look at the sky in this picture, how it's dark up at the top and then gradually gets lighter. And um, I'm going to do the same because I like that. There really are not too many clouds in the sky, so I'm not going to focus on clouds today. I'm just going to focus on a nice gradient change from dark to light. Again, I'm going very fast. I'm on my Wacom tablet. I do not expect you to go this fast. You really need to take your time, especially when it comes to shading really need to take your time to get that look, to make it look the way you want. When you take your time on a piece of artwork, it really shows. It shows that you care about what you're doing. Take your time. What I did on my Wacom tablet is I put the darker colors down first and then I went back and I started to blend a little bit. But I'm going to put a tad of pink in there, just at the bottom. I'm having a hard time telling whether this is a morning picture or an evening picture. But I do know one thing. Sailors have a fam famous saying, and I'm probably mixing it up right now, but I believe it's red sky in night, sailors delight, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Which means that maybe if there's a red sky in the morning, there's going to be a bad storm and probably not to go out and sail too far away from home. Okay, at this stage of the game, I'm going to go ahead and start shading in my water. And I'm going to go darker along the lines. And then let up a little bit. By going darker along the lines, I create kind of that look of um, rough waters and depth. And as I go lighter, I create that white water that sometimes occurs when the water is rough. And I'm just going to continue that all the way through my whole picture here. Okay, well we're 19 minutes into this picture. I'm going to get ready to stop. And I'll leave this up here for you to look at. Um, let me go ahead and shade those hills in the background. I'm going to do a darker blue right here at the base of the hills. And let me spend a few seconds here just blending. Well, I can't wait to see your sailboat, and I hope that you all have a wonderful spring break, a safe spring break. Make sure you wear your helmets when you're riding your bikes, skateboarding. Let's all come back next week in one piece. And if you have some time to illustrate over the holidays, please do. All right, and you know, like all artists, and I encourage you to do this all the time, sign your name on your artwork. 
I'm going to sign my Mrs. Creed. You can date it too. All right. Well, have fun. I can't wait to walk around and see all your beautiful sailboat drawings. Till our next sketchbook lesson. Bye for now.